I want just to tell you, I'm very grateful to have been invited here to share with you how I work in, in corporate floor uh, uh, with uh, business, with leadership, as a violinist, mind you. And actually, I'm helping to release the highest potentials of people, of leaders, and to sort of give them inspiration how to turn their companies into masterpiece, you know, corporate culture, transformation. These things, you need to uh, go on detour to find the tools and means how to do it. You cannot do it by PowerPoint pre presentation or so, as you know. So this is what I've been doing, and I'll tell you, it's not just rethinking that I'm doing, I'm redoing it. I'm actually reframing the role of the art in society, in the modern world. I'm taking arts out of the gallery, out of the concert hall, out of these places, you know, of cultural life, and I'm bringing it to the place of decision-making, where hard decisions and dilemmas are to be solved for all of us. You know, they, they make them there. We live in economic society, so all decisions are made there, passed on to politicians, and they make their decisions. So it is that place with niche, which needs uh, inspiration, so the decisions are big and in inclusive. Uh, you know, I, I will tell you, it, it's very interesting to observe what's happening. Actually, I am making a turnaround, not Business sponsoring arts. Art is beginning to sponsor business. Do you hear me? Hey, what am I saying? Art sponsoring business? You better put the seat belts on. Look, what happens, what happens in, in, in business? We have, they, you know, the business people are, are actually punished by targets and deadlines. Deadlines and parts. So they are here. Next quarter, they must be there. No, so they are, they are paid, so they have to do it. They give 20% and they, uh, make it there. Uh, it's 5 million, okay. 5 million profit. For whom? Oh, shareholder value. Well. No, shareholders will never share. But anyways, it's not, it's, not, it's not such a big motivation. I just want to show you how we operate, artists. Are you interested? Look, that's how we work. <laughs> 50 million. Yeah. No. So, no, but, you know, okay, that's, that's all right. But the point is, you see, if you observe what is happening here, the first step means you just don't go, you know, because you're paid to do it. You actually stay in that initial fire and you identify with what you do. That's our advantage. Why? Because we play masterpieces and there you have no choice. You either identify or you're out of it. You can't do it by 15% or something, whatever the statistics tell you, how engaged people are in business. So, 600% engagements and boom, it gets you there. Of course, I put 50 million there, but you cannot put numbers on experience. Impossible. We don't have those indicators yet, but we are, we are searching for them. Anyway, this is the way, this is the journey. The problem when you're there, you may look back and see a trail of blood. And say, oh, that's my blood. Oh, it did hurt. Yes, it did hurt, but you're already there. The point is, when you are inspired, you don't have a choice. You go. You are identified. And then if it hurts so bad, so what? No problem. Now, let us look how does that, what's the way? What is the journey which I'm going to take you on quickly? What is the journey of transfer? First thing you have to listen is thema, subject. <laughs> Ah, you see, you see, there are forces in music. You cannot just play, you know. So, there are forces. You see, the first thing is thema, subject. It is called uh, identity or, or brand, if you want, in business. But it's the concentrated essence. So we must listen, listen to the essence. I'll give you some examples. A fugue by Bach. <laughs> So what do we hear? We hear like this first. That's like this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is very male. Can you hear? It's very male. Yeah, male energy. Kill you. Also, what's coming then? Yeah, yeah. Now, now you see. Now, what, when, when I talk in China, for instance, I tell them, do you hear this? What is it? Yin yang. Yes. They immediately are friends, you know, because they see, aha, these are two forces which make up reality. You know, the male and the female, thanks God, coming from everywhere. So, so this is an example. I'll give another example. Like, beginning of the C major fugue.
and so on. What do we hear? Subject again. How does it evolve? That's how it starts. Bah! Vision. Can you hear the energy? Bah! There where I want to go. It's clear. So. Yeah, but you know, if you have vision, you bring to Ted, you know, and everybody says, oh, very nice vision, then comes the next one. So it's not enough. Vision is not enough. What's the next? What do you hear the next? The next thing, yeah, you see, the next thing is mobilize everything above, everything below, and then reinforce the vision. Is that clear? Can you hear that? Then comes pa 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 pa. So you see here at the beginning you already have vision, mobilization, and then courage to do and implement, not execute. Execution is bad word, you know, it's military. Implement, embody. You know, we talk about heart storming, not brainstorming. D lifeline, not deadline. Yeah, just think, think about it. Now, what is up here? Up here we have digital cloud, digitalization, cloud, digital cloud. We have our heads in the digital cloud. And we think we can do it. No, what's below? Here, what's missing is human. Humanization. That's missing. Human. So my latest motto is no digitalization without humanization. Because human being is not finished product. We finish ourselves and lift ourselves into masterpiece of biography. Now let's start. It's about time. I want to, I want to take you on a little journey of B flight measure. Siciliana Bach, it's like this. Now, what does that tell? What kind of qualities are there? It says like this. You know, two souls are in my heart, in my body. Goethe says, two souls in my chest. One that is stuck on, you know, everyday stuff, budgets, basic needs, and the other one longing for, huh, for, you know, high spiritual goals and all that. So, let's hear that. And that one says, yes, yes, one day. Out there, yeah. So one day. But you see, it's like here. I'm presenting you a product or method. And you'd sit there and say, oh, yes, we've seen that before. Not so interesting. It's something else here on TED. You know, there is a... What's here? I was in London the day before yesterday. Please mind the gap. The gap. That's the gap. So, the gap. What does... How do we get across the gap? How do we drive this dilemma into its... It's wonderful conclusion. This is what I want to share with you now. Let's start. Are you ready? Yeah. We start up here. So this is the nucleus. Now let's go. Let us observe. Now for those of you who are music lovers, don't get knots in your stomach. At the end, I will play the whole thing without interruption. But you see, <laughs> this is my method. I've been doing this 30 years interruptive method. Now, much later, Silicon Valley discovered that. But you know, we go ahead with arts. We also can. Yeah, very good. Now listen, how is the process? <laughs> What do we hear? What do we hear? On one hand, now, mm. you must command control. Oh, better not. Yeah, can you hear that? It says, oh, 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 it's like marriage after 10 years. <laughs> or second marriage after eight months. Yeah, anyway, yeah, you choose. Yeah, yeah. But you see, everybody is pulling in their direction. 
I can, of course, play so nice you don't notice. But I want here objective evolution so we can transfer that into strategy, how to get great product implemented. Yes? Once again. <laughs> So, hope. Let's go on. We don't have time. There is direction. It says, po, do, 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 po, do, 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 po, do. Oh, this is out of the box, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I saw. So, three, yeah, three times, three times it gets direction because problem is there is no direction. Each is pulling their own. So now they come together and grow around this three uh, direction. <laughs> Everybody loves growth. And now... <laughs> Midlife crisis. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So, and then it's less and less and less and less and less. You see. If you keep growing after you're 18, you have a problem. You can't go to the door. So after you finish growing your body, you start growing inwardly, inner growth, development. That's what's missing in companies so often. But we go further. We go. The same idea, but now in what kind of sacred space do you hear what's going on? <laughs> and a lot of light. Can you hear light? Light from within. I call it Rembrandt effect. It has to do with internalizing. That's where the future is, not on Mars, on inner yet to be discovered continents. Do you hear me? So now it's real listening to one another, real dialogue. <laughs> Suddenly, what was below is now above because of this soft area. Now, what was here is now here, and what was here is now here. What does that mean? That means that we reach the point of development of organization where you can actually start leading out of the other person. You don't tell them what to do, you put yourself into their position. 
and you lead out of periphery. I call this peripheral leadership style or European leadership style. Sorry to say that, but that has grown out of polyphony, out of our music. So, what's the next step? We're almost there. new power power why is there power because there is no more either or they join together and power comes about oh, and then bam bam at the end can you hear only one melody in the end and you know what that moment is is the moment to let go let go because when you are at the top of the power, what can you do? What else is possible? Just to let go. And what happens as a result? Emerging future comes towards you. The real thing. I will paint it and I'll play it. to your own real identity, to I am, to the higher self, which is also at the beginning there, in a chaotic way. You see, now we have 1 minute and 42 seconds, and I don't know whether you vote for me to play. It takes three minutes. You want me to play or shall we stop? <laughs> Do you see? Do you see here? Roots, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds for the next generation. It's organic, and that is where organizations ought to go if they don't want to die out. Okay, Siciliana. <laughs>